I got a phone call from a lady that worked high up at the state and said, we shouldn't be opening up DreamShine. It's in your best interest to not even try to open up because it's not gonna work out. After college, I actually, I managed to graduate, but I had no idea what I was going to do. And I ended up moving out to Ohio. I happened to get into the field working with individuals with special needs. Was offered a job teaching special education. And what happened is when our first round of students went to graduate, it brought me back to square one. All they had was these horrible institutionalized settings that had like bright fluorescent lights. And their only options for these individuals with special needs was they were either given machine parts or crayons and a piece of paper and told to color. It truly broke my heart to see that that was the only option. And I just realized something had to change, something had to be different. I called that superintendent at that time. He said, it's been this way for 40 some odd years. I've been the superintendent for 25 years. If you have a problem, you can come down to my office. So within about 15 minutes, I drove down to his office and showed up and I had two copies of the state rule and the state law. And I read it out loud to him. I said, since you've been doing this for 25 years, I'm sure you're familiar with this. They have the choice to go anywhere they want, and if the county or the state tries to neglect their funding, they would actually be investigated the entire state of Ohio at the federal level. Literally the next day, our first client was enrolled in DreamShine. A lot of these individuals were, were counted out. They were put into a box and told it was going to be like this for the rest of your life. Actually, the state tried to get us to pay sub-minimum wage to the individuals with special needs because that's what they were doing with their programs. And I said, we're gonna pay them just like we pay any other human being. And if you wanna tell me to pay people with special needs sub-minimum wage, I would love for you to give that to me in writing because that's gonna make an awesome headline for a newspaper. We flash forward now 10 years later, DreamShine, the place that was supposed to be impossible, we've created a job program there um, it's really cool. Our different individuals are able to make these awesome soy wax candles, gourmet chocolates, fire starters. We sell them on our webpage and they're able to earn paychecks. Now we have a two and a half acre campus um, with two buildings, a log home, a waterfront lodge that's all adapted. Uh, we have over 40 clients with special needs and I have about 17 people that are on my team and I like to share that with everyone right now just to know no matter what you're up against, whatever Goliath you're facing, truly all things are possible.